It's time for today's race at the Autodromo Jose Carlos Pache circuit here in Sao Paulo. And as any of the 80,000 capacity crowd will tell you, this is going to be a fantastic race. We're racing today then at Interlagos, a historic 2.7 mile circuit and one of the few anti-clockwise tracks on the calendar. 15 corners in total, nine to the left and six to the right, with a technical middle section opening up to a flat out sector three. And that gives us our best passing opportunity down into turn one. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Norris, Charles Leclerc and Ricardo. Sainz, Gasly, Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon, Vettel, Sonoda, Lance Stroll and Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Russell, Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi, Mazepin and Lewis Hamilton rounds off the grid. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race.
That's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Ferme. Another superb Brazilian Grand Prix comes to an end. And it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? It's got to be Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he pulled off some impressive feats out on the track today, even by his standards. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.